Good evening, it's the 24th of December, it's about 5 o'clock and I have been trying to uh, film the great conjunction between Saturn and Jupiter since the 21st. The 21st and the 22nd and the 23rd have been absolutely hopeless, they're covered with cloud cover but this is Jupiter, the gaseous Jupiter and the gaseous Saturn and they are reasonably close together. Um, on the 21st they were almost joined together and even tonight you're getting cloud cover coming in and spoiling the, uh, the picture. Jupiter's the one in front. Uh, Jupiter's the bright one. They come across as sort of yellowish So that's just me, that's me as far in as I can get with this zoom. So this is over Belfast and this is the best I can get in the circumstances. Clouds are still rolling in and that's why it doesn't come across as clear as it might. So on Monday night it was the shortest day, that was the 21st and um, that's the winter solstice or a hemal solstice or a hibernal solstice And a solstice occurs um, when one of the Earth's poles has its maximum tilt away from the Sun. And this happens twice a year, once in the Northern Hemisphere and once in the Southern Hemisphere. But the 21st or Monday was, was significant for this conjunction between Saturn and Jupiter. And on Monday night they were within one degree of each other. Well you can see tonight there are more than one degree. And what has happened here is that um, Saturn takes 30 years to um, go around the Sun and Jupiter only takes 12. So Really, uh, Jupiter has caught up with Saturn and is close by Saturn. And um, they they were together in 1623 apparently, but the best setting that we've had prior to that was 1226. So that's 800 years ago on Monday night apparently was the best sighting uh, since for, for 800 years but of course I couldn't get it because it was cloudy. So that's Jupiter. And that's Saturn. The Great Conjunction. Filmed from over Belfast. <laughs> 